having that many seizures, having these types of epilepsies, um, it's just devastating. And these children really, um, really lose their, their functioning. Um, they, they go through a significant decline in their, in their, uh, like in their, in their interactions with their families, um, and just overall quality of life. So these truly are disabling, disabling conditions. It started actually as the, uh, as the medicinal cannabis regulations were evolving. So actually, so we started the study approximately five years ago, start the conception and the development of the study. So during that time, the medical cannabis regulations changed a few times. We had to adjust things accordingly. Um, but the reason we started the study is that there was a growing evidence that cannabis-based therapies could be helpful for some kids with refractory epilepsy. Um, and we kept on, we were being asked about this in clinic, and once again, these are very desperate parents, um, or with, uh, children, uh, the parents of these children with severe epilepsy. Um, and so they were asking us about this, and you know, we really didn't have good answers for them. And so that's really what drove, what drove this, uh, what the impetus behind doing this study was. The concern was, uh, the other concern is that uh, there would be intoxication from the THC, and that was limiting access. So what we really wanted to do was to try and, um, um, try and develop a dosage regimen, but also to show that uh, these products are safe and that uh, in, uh, intoxication from the THC uh, shouldn't be a concern. So with regards to controlling seizures, so once again, these are preliminary results from the first seven children. Um, and so um, what we found is that overall, on average, the reduction in seizure frequency, the monthly reduction, was about 75%. But there was a lot of variation. Some kids responded a lot better than others. So three of the kids became seizure-free, whereas others had less than a 50% reduction in seizures. Um, that might not, so overall, that 75% reduction might not seem like a whole lot, but keep in mind, you know, these are children that have failed multiple medications. And so the likelihood of another medication providing this benefit would be really low. But, and that, that reduction in seizure frequency corroborates with what was seen in the sick kid study. So I, I'm happy that we were able to corroborate each other's, uh, each other's data. But what our study was able to show, which makes it unique, is that we were able to develop a dosage regimen that physicians could use, using a similar type product that we used in the study and the doses used but also by measuring plasma levels of the cannabinoids, including THC, looking for intoxication, we're able to show that, we, uh, that um, the, the risks of intoxication while using these products at these doses is very low.